So it would seem that Amber Heard has sacked Elaine Breed off her lead counsel after an utter disaster during the trial. And I'm going to play a few clips for you today so that you can understand just how poorly Elaine did during the trial. Now, I'm sure you've seen clips in the past, but I have put together a very special selection. So let's get into this and see exactly why Elaine was relieved of her duties. Now, it all went wrong from the very beginning. If you remember, Elaine stood up and she gave her opening arguments. And what we heard was Elaine calling the police liars and actually turning around and saying that they lied about what they saw. Have a little listen to this. You'll hear from many, actually, I don't know how many of the police officers we'll put on, but we have, you know, between four and six LAPD police officers and experts who will say those police officers, even when she declined to cooperate, should have taken a report. They should have documented it. That was police policy. So when faced with this big public, uh, you know, big public uh, DVRO and all of the publicity later, now they go back to the police officers and say, hey, wait a second, you didn't take a report. You said it was a verbal dispute only. They're stuck. It, you know, if all of that was true and they admitted it was true, then they violated policy by not doing the report because they were supposed to take a report. So the police officers chose the other and said, no, there was no evidence. But you're going to watch it. You're going to see it in real time. You're going to see it on metadata. Following on from that, Elaine also mentioned this beautiful compact here. And she said that this was the exact one that she used, except this particular brand and this particular palette didn't come out until 2017, long after Amber Heard and Johnny Depp had been together. That was a pretty big mistake, I have to say. Now, you also heard them say that all kinds of people saw Amber that week and she didn't, uh, she didn't have any bruises on her face. Well, let me show you this. This is what Amber carried in her purse for the entire relationship with Johnny Depp. She's an actor. Do you honestly think she would have left her apartment ever without makeup? Do you think that she ever would have wanted other people to see her bruises and her cuts? This was what she used. She became very adept at it. You're going to hear the testimony from Amber about how she had to mix the different colors for the different days of the bruises as they were as they developed in the different coloring and how she would use these to touch those up to be able to cover those next we had isaac baruch now then this is a friend of both johnny depp and amber heard now during the cross-examination elaine really let herself down the question about amica cream was really hilarious because there is no such thing called amica cream it's called arnica cream and what's more, Arnica cream doesn't cover up bruises. In fact, it only helps to speed up the healing process. So whether she had it on or not made absolutely no difference. And it's quite clear between this back and forth between the two that Isaac is making Elaine come across as a complete idiot. Have a listen. Do, do you, are you familiar with Amica cream? What is it? Amica. Amica? Yes. No. Okay. Do you know what type of foundation Ms. Heard uses? No. Do you know what type of concealer Ms. Heard uses? No. Do you know what type of tint Ms. Heard uses? I have no clue. Do you know what types of powders Ms. Heard uses? No. Okay. So when you're saying that you didn't notice any makeup, would it be fair to say that you yourself are not familiar with what type of makeup Amber Heard uses on a daily basis? I don't know what she uses on a daily basis. You don't know she was not wearing makeup, correct? For a fact? Correct. No. And you don't know whether she had applied Amica cream, correct? No. 
And I you, didn't even know what Amica cream is. And you don't know whether she had had applied concealer or foundation or powder or tint, correct? That's correct. All right. Do you know whether she had applied any Amica cream that morning to her face? No. Do you know whether she had applied any concealer to her face that morning? No. Do you know whether she had applied any foundation that morning? No. Do you know whether she had applied any tint that morning? No. Do you know whether she had applied any powder that morning? No. Do you have any knowledge of the skills of Amber Heard with respect to putting on makeup? Well, it can't be that good because she's got a friend who is a makeup artist who came over to do makeup, but I don't really know. And do you know whether Amber had any Amica cream on that day? I don't know. I don't know. And I'll try to make this faster. Do you know whether Amber was wearing concealer, foundation, powder, or tint that day? I don't know. Okay. Again, do you know whether she was wearing any Amica cream? <laughs> sir, if you could just answer I'm this sorry. question. I'm totally sorry. I'm Thank sorry. You, sir. That, uh, no. And do you know whether she was wearing concealer, foundation, powder, or tint? No. Next, Elaine put her foot right in it when she asked Isaac, is he still angry with Amber Heard? Wow, she wasn't prepared for what came next. And you're, I think you testified already, you're pretty angry with Ms. Hurd, right? When? I, I wrote it down that you Oh, were... about all the phony, about the phony pictures what? that were, that were taken and put in uh, tabloids and about the fake narrative and about, uh, and the way she's uh, trying, uh, at trying to got a... Uh, a, a, a fraudulent DV claim to extort and blackmail uh, a man. Uh, yeah, that kind of got me uh, uh, frustrated, confused, angry, upset. Yes, which is why I said the best thing for us to do is not to talk to each other. Okay. And, yes. And was it fair to say you're still angry with her? Oh, you know something. It's six years. But it's we just heard six you give years. your version. Am I angry anymore? I'm not, you know, I, what I am is tired and I want this all to end. Her to go heal, him to go heal. She, you know, you, the, it, it, so many people are, have been affected by this malicious lie that she started and she created and it's gone out the door and around the world. And so I don't need, I, I can't even paint anymore. I've stopped painting for the last who knows how many years and that's affected by stuff. It's, it's, it, I don't, I, I'm not angry at anybody. I want the best for her, for her to take her responsibility, heal, and, 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 and move on, move on. And, and for Johnny, John, you know, it's, his family has been completely wrecked by all of this stuff. And it's not, it's, it's, it's not, uh, it's not fair. It's not right what, ha what she did and what happened for so many people to get affected from this. It's, it's insane and Mr. That's, this, how this happened. And what's interesting is that after Isaac was allowed to roll off this speech, Elaine complained. She complained and said it wasn't fair. And she said to the judge, I didn't ask for that. He just went on this rampage and it was nothing to do with me. And he was able to do that. And the judge said, uh -uh. you opened the door for that. Have a listen. It's, it, he just went off on this rant and rave about assuming that she's... You, you asked questions. I, I didn't ask a question that okay. launched that. I, I'm going to sustain the objection. Okay, right, next you don't. Question. In the next segment, this was a video that, well, I released and it's had over 11 million views and for good reason. Because, let's face it, when you're trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the judge and you are wrong because you can't add up, well, I guess 
people find that funny. I don't think it came across as funny to Amber though, when her own counsel was humiliated in this fashion. Have a listen. Plaintiff has used 35 hours and six minutes. Defendants have used 36 hours and 31 minutes, which means the plaintiff has 26 hours and nine minutes left and the defendant has 24 hours and 44 minutes left, okay? And just a reminder, as we said from the very beginning, once time is up, once your time is up, your time is up. If it's in the middle of a witness, I'm gonna stop you. So other than that, does anybody have anything else for me? Sammy says 24. If you add 36 hours and 31 minutes and 24 hours and 44 minutes, you get, you get what? Well, we'll get with, you can get with Sammy when we're done, okay. It's, is it right or wrong? What's that? 61, 61 hours and 15 minutes. Does that add up then? That is right. Mr. Ron Berg says that I'm right. Mr. Ron Berg says that I'm right. Next, we had Camille versus Elaine. And in what can only be described as an absolute train wreck for Elaine, Camille made her rage quit literally rage quit in the end because well she isn't a trial lawyer you see elaine settles most of her cases out of court and she isn't used to the court setting and it was very evident in this exchange here when camille got the absolute best of her on almost every single occasion have a listen miss heard did Ms. van ray come out after that article came in to make a public statement, it was false? Of course. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I, Your Honor, I should at least be <laughs> overruled. Thank you. Of course she did. Okay. And who had connections to TMZ? Objection calls for speculation. Uh, do you know? I who, do know. John Your and Honor, I spoke about Your Honor, calls for speculation. The objection. During the mediation process in July, correct? That was objection the leading. first one. Sustained okay. the leading. When was this? That was in July of 2016. That was the first mediation attempt. It has been suggested by Ms. Vasquez to you in your questions that you didn't tell anyone about the abuse until the TRO. Is that true? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. All right. What if Sustained. any? All right. <clears throat> Who did you tell about the abuse during the time it was happening. Objection, Your Honor. Leading That's not offered to, it's, and it's, hearsay. It's, it's sustained. Your Honor, it's prior consistent statements. It's, it's leading. It's there. sustained. Next question. Okay. What, if anything, did you tell to anyone about the abuse? Objection, Your Honor. Is, hearsay. I'll sustain. Your Honor, Your Honor, may I approach That's him? fine. Ms. Hurd, how many people have you shared the fact of abuse prior to 2015. Objection, Your Honor. Leading. How Calls many? for hearsay. How many? Can you name them? Objection, yes. Your Honor. Hearsay. I think she can. It's not offered. It's just to show that she had, that she informed people before. They're suggesting. Objection, Your Honor. Can we approach? Right? This is, again, inappropriate. Um, whether you had consulted a medical doctor about any problems with your nose, correct? That's correct. And you indicated that you, in fact, had after the divorce. Objection correct? leading. I, 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 did did you did you or did you not consult a, a, a ENT after the divorce? Objection leading. Okay. Did you produce medical records? to the defendants relating to this. Objection, leading, cause. Right. I'll sustain the objection. Thank you. So leading, and, next question. Your Honor, if right. we could, Let's see yeah, if witness we... could be instructed not to answer until I've All right. lodged my objection. Wait for the objection, could, please. Could... That's the um, what my ENT, the ears, nose, and throat doctor um, told me was. Objection, my, Your Honor, hearsay. All right, I'll, when there's objection, please stop talking. Thank you. All right, I'll sustain the objection as to hearsay. Okay, 
What, if any, you were asked if you had, it was suggested that you had not produced this in discovery. Is that true or Objection, false? Your Honor, leading. Your Honor, she, she absolutely so did it's, that. It's leading. It is leading question, though. I'll sustain mm -hmm. the objection as to leading. Do you know how many were handed over? I, I, hundreds of thousands, I believe. Maybe, maybe. Objection, many Your Honor, more. lack of foundation. Okay. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. And do you, what, if anything, did you produce to the plaintiff in connection with your consultation with an ENT specialist relating to your nose? Objection, leading, sustain. What, I foundation, said, what anything, hearsay. What, what if anything that is not the cure-all is sustained? And as a result of that consultation, what did you learn about your nose. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'm not asking her to tell what they said. Yeah, I'll sustain the objection. What, if any, production did you make to the plaintiffs of your medical records with the ENT? Objection, Your Honor, lack of foundation. If you, only, if you only have foundation. Do you know whether the records, medical records uh, from your EMT were produced in discovery? Objection, in Your Honor. Lack of foundation calls for speculation. I'm just I'm asking. Overruled if she knows. Thank you. And do you, rec do you recall? I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, what, if anything, Did the medical records reflect about your nose? Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. No, sustain the objection. Do you have injuries to your nose? Yes. Please describe those to the jury. I have um, I'm a bunch of scar tissue. The, I'm going to object to the extent it calls for hearsay and lack of foundation. Oh, overruled. An improper expert opinion. Well, we'll she can certainly testify to. We'll, we'll see where it goes. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I have um, a significant amount of scar tissue in my nose. Objection, Your Honor. I'll sustain the objection. What, if any, difficulty do you have breathing? Objection, leading. What, what if, if anything? And that does cure on it. Now, you were asked about December 15, 2015. And Ms. Vasquez suggested that you did not report the abuse or the injuries to Aaron Falati. Do you recall Objection, that question? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. Your Honor, I'm entitled to go into what Ms. Vasquez said. The objection is leading. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Um, did you report, what, if anything, did you report to Aaron Falati about the abuse you sustained on 12-15-2015. Objection, leading We're and hearsay. Approach. Did you tell Nurse Falati on 12-16-2015 about the injuries you sustained from the 12-15-2015 attack? I did. I believe I sent her pictures too. And did you tell Connell Cowan about the injuries you sustained? Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. It's prior consistent statements. All right, I'm going to sustain the objection at this point. Next question. Do you recall Dr. Laurel Anderson testifying that she saw two black eyes Objection, on 1217? Objection, Your Honor. Sustain us leading. What, if anything, do you recall from Laurel Anderson's testimony in this case about what she observed on 12-17-2015? Objection, Your Honor. This is outside the scope of cross-examination. It's prior consistent statement. I'm going to sustain the objection. It's observations I, I, for I'm the 12-17, the same yes, day. Sustain the objection. Next question. May, may I approach? 
Okay. When in December did you see Dr. Laurel Anderson? Objection, lack of foundation. Overrule. I saw her two days after the attack. So on what day did you see her then? Um, that would have been the 17th of December, 2016, and I told her what happened. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. And to finish things off, of course we had the very ending, the very ending of the trial when, let's face it, Amber Heard had claimed that she was out of pocket to the tune of a hundred million dollars. And Elaine had put together these experts that had tried, 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 tried to get to this hundred million dollar amount. The problem was, it didn't work. And Elaine had to basically admit that to the jury when she said, hey, Johnny sued us, so we, tit for tat, basically just doubled the amount and plucked it out of thin air. And ultimately, we also know that we aren't entitled to $100 million. Have a listen to what she says to the jury. Now, Johnny Depp sued for $100 million, or for $50 million. And we sent a message back saying, fine, then we're going to sue for $100 million because look at what you've done to her. We're not, we're not asking you to give $100 million. We're asking you to just look at the damages in this case and just be fair and reasonable in whatever you determine by following the evidence and the instructions. But we do ask that you fully and fairly compensate Amber for everything that she's been through, both in terms of reputation and emotional distress. The very last point is punitive damages, and you surely have those in this case. We've asked for 350000 for the punitive damages, and we would ask that you award that. Thank you very much. So there we have it, guys. This is just some of the clips because there are more believe you me this is just some of the highlights of what went down during the trial and let's be honest elaine didn't do herself any favors so it's absolutely no surprise whatsoever that amber heard got rid of her anyway if you like what you've seen today and you want to hear more things like this i will be taking the channel in a slightly different direction in the future so just be aware of that however Please subscribe, please leave a like, and leave a comment. Thank you very much.